What's going on everybody? Uh, just showing off the latest upgrade here. Got back from my vacation, had a little extra spending money that I didn't use on it. So bought myself a triple screen setup. Uh, basically what we've got here is three 23 inch Acer monitors. They're LEDs. Uh, actually pretty damn nice. Um, I bought them at work. They're refurbished monitors that right now we're selling them for 120 bucks. Uh, I did a little digging around online to see what people are typically selling them for brand new and they're between about mm, 2 and 250 for the most part. I've seen them as high as about 300 bucks. Um, yeah, no, they're pretty sweet so far. Um, for those that have seen you know past videos, as you probably already know, I'm going to be driving these off of a pair of 680s in the rig here. So this is pretty much... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I've been up to as of late. Um, go ahead and show you guys here for those that don't know how you actually use a triple screen setup with NVIDIA. So basically you go to, get this to focus, focus, there you can see it. Go into your NVIDIA control panel. And up here in the side menu, you want to select the configure SLI surround and physics. And then you just choose this option right here for span displays. Um, this is going to basically make it so your three monitors become one gigantic one and they're all linked together. Uh, this actually works better for most games that are fairly new simply because it allows you to then have a custom resolution setup rather than configure three independent displays within the game, which, you know, it's kind of the old school way of doing it. Um, in some cases, that's how I know Ifinity still has you do things. There is a way to span it across multiple displays on Ifinity. I know before somebody leaves a comment in the, in the forum, or not the forum, sorry, in the uh, uh, comments here. I know you can do that, but there's been lots of driver-related issues for some reason, especially in a multi-GPU setup with AMD, where it doesn't seem to work very well, at least right, not right now. Uh, I know hard forums and overclock 3D and a few other websites have uh, discussed this in great detail and the issues they've had while trying to do reviews um, versus, you know, like 680s and 7970s and so on. Um, but anyway, back to the point here. Um, once you once you get this set up and you select the span displays, just go to configure. Uh, oh, uh, we got a bunch of things I have to close real quick. Uh, give me a second here. Exit. Exit. Uh, apparently, I got Chrome. Up, uh, close it. And apparently, my phone is trying to sync, so turn off Zoom. Okay. All right. So that gets you then to this screen here. Now, this is where I was talking about that bezel. This will do a bezel correction here. This allows you to line up your screens a little bit better. You click on it, you get two more options here. Um, yes, add special resolution allows you to make those adjustments. If you don't, you end up with what you can see here is kind of a little bit of an offset between the images. Uh, so you then just click add special. And you get one of these big guys in the middle of the screen. Um, basically from here, what you'll do is you start clicking on these guys to set offsets on it. And that'll get you your new resolutions. Since I've already gone through all of that and it's lined up for sitting way back here, um, I'm just going to go ahead and leave this and cancel out. But that's pretty much it. Um, you do that for both your both sides. Um, when you're back in that screen, you'll be able to see that there's uh, markers for both sides. And as soon as you click on either one of the up and down arrows for either side, it'll move that little road symbol to the opposite side. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, nothing else has changed on the rig so far. Um, I will have that video for Fancy Cash up here pretty soon. Uh, I know I had promised that a couple of weeks back and hadn't done it yet. Um, just a couple of things I'm trying to figure out and how to, how to do to make it more worthwhile for you guys. Otherwise, it's not really much to look at. So if you guys have any questions, comments, whatever, just leave them down below. Um, and if you like the videos or you want to see more, you know, subscribe and I'll keep trying to crank some out for you guys. All right. Have a good one. All right, guys, just uh, adding one more quick thing here. Um, I'm 
just to kind of give you guys an idea what this is like, I'm going to go ahead and run Heaven on here. Uh, it's the resolution we're running at across the three screens. That's my custom resolution, 38, <coughs> excuse me, 5882 by 1080. Um, pretty much the same settings I always use when I'm running the Heaven benchmark for consistency reasons. Um, the way I get consistent results all the time. You know, the only things that affected are either resolution changes or uh, hardware changes and overclocking, that kind of thing. So, give me one second here. Let's set my overclock profile on my video cards. There it goes. And run. And that's it. So in running this earlier, um, basically I was seeing the frame rates kind of average out at about 50 frames per second with these settings at triple screen. Um, it did dip down to about 30, I think 29 point something was the official low on it. Um, high gets a little over 100 frames per second, like 120 or so. But for the most part, it sits around about 50-ish, which is you know, not, not too bad, actually. This uh, isn't exactly the easiest benchmark to run. So that's pretty much it. Um, you know, If anybody's got any other questions or anything, uh, let me know. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just leave comments below. Subscribe if you like it. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.